Okay, so I have this unique opportunity to be able to teach you guys something that not many people know how to do anymore. So this house, uh, most of the windows in it have been replaced, but in the front here, we still have a couple of these original single pane windows. And we have a couple panes that are cracked. So like this one, I marked it with blue tape on the inside. You can see it's got this nice crack running through it. So we are going to be replacing this single pane glass panel today and then reglazing the window in. So this is kind of a dying thing because these single pane windows are not very energy efficient. So most people are getting away from them and replace them in their homes with modern windows. Um, and not many people know how to actually do this anymore. So. So the first step is to remove any remaining glazing compound. Some of this, so like this isn't even glazing compound, this is actually just caulk that somebody put in here over on this side. So the glazing compound does play a small role in holding the piece of glass in the pane, but what actually holds it in is what we call glazing points. Which can sometimes be a little bit tricky to remove, and they can come in a couple different shapes. So this one's like a little tiny diamond. So they're just these little metal wedges that get jammed into the sash that hold the glass panel in. So usually you'll find a couple of those around the pane. And some of these can be pretty tricky to remove. So we have the old glass out. And now we're just going to want to finish cleaning up the inside of this here. So here it is all cleaned up, got no more glazing compound in there, no more points stuck in. So we have our new piece of glass here, we're just going to set this back in here. So as you can see, this is a little bit loose, you actually want that, it's not supposed to be tight into the opening. And then we're going to get our glazing points. So these ones I have are actually a little bit different shape. Um, these ones are nice because they have these little tabs on them here that you can use to help actually push them in, which makes them a little bit easier. So 
what I'll do is I'll actually take my putty knife and just give it a little wiggle like that to get it pushed in there. So with a little window like this, you can get away with just having like four of these in here. Especially being that this is an enclosed area. It was outside, maybe I'd do two. So now our glass panel is held in here. I got one glazing point on all four sides. This is our window glazing compound here. It's like a putty. I'm gonna wear some gloves for this to help keep my hands clean. So what you're gonna do is just dig some of this out of the bucket here. Give it a quick knead, make sure it's all smooth and the same consistency. Make sure we don't have any little bits that are gonna get in our way. And I've seen people do this a couple different ways. Some people like to roll it out into like a worm. But as long as you're getting the compound smushed down into this corner, that's the main objective. Really, it comes down to whatever works best for you, whatever's more efficient. So they, spell, they sell special tools for this, but really you don't need it. I'm um, just using a small putty knife. So the idea with the glazing compound is you want to get a nice crisp edge that's going to cover this gap. So this is basically what's making this paint weatherproof. You're sealing the gap between the sash and the glass pane itself. Okay, so now that I have glazing smushed into that gap all the way around, now it's time to, uh, to smooth it out. So the idea is you want to get a consistent angle, consistent texture all the way around the pane, nice crisp corners. And the idea is when you're looking from inside the window out, you don't want to see like this gaudy edge of the glazing. Ideally, the edge of your glazing will be in line with the inside 
edge of the uh, of the sash here. I won't claim to be a professional or an expert or the fastest person out there to do this. But that is okay. Sometimes it takes me a couple passes to get it right, to get it to where I want it. Sometimes you have to experiment with different pressures and different angles to get it right. Sometimes if you're anything like me, you have to remind, you have to tell yourself to stop while you're ahead because you want it so bad to be perfect, but sometimes when you keep touching stuff, you end up just messing it up and making it worse. I am very guilty of that. <laughs> so there it is glazed, relatively consistent. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this. Um, so let's go look from the inside and see how it looks. A little thick on the bottom, a little thick on this side. Could always go and clean it up a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Go check from the inside. No, it's not too shabby. I think I'm gonna leave it alone like that. So before you guys go and get all upset about it, I know it's not perfect. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but it's better than it was before. And especially if you're gonna compare it to the other panes, to all of the other windows that a lot of them they're missing the glazing in a lot of spots. I'm not here to redo this whole window. Either way, they'd consistently all probably look like that. So consistency 
is better than nothing. But this is not bad, especially when you have all of the other ones looking like this. Like this is going to look beautiful in comparison. So I have a couple more of these to do. So uh, let's get them done. There they are done. I'm happy with it. Not perfect, but they are good enough. That is for sure. And then window glazing is oil-based, so you have to paint this with an oil-based paint. Now all that's left is just to clean up any residue off of the window panes and you're all set. So I have one more piece of glass up there that needs to get changed, so let's get that done.
not happy with how that went in there. Try again. That's why I put, put an extra one or two in my pocket because I knew I was going to drop one at some point. I might actually reglaze all of these while I'm up here because there's nothing holding this window together. It's not. It's probably gonna leak if we get a driving rain that would come under this. No, oh, that's annoying. Whoever did this last just put like little finish nails in here. Potentially make it annoying to glaze. Good, that one's good. One in there, have one there, have one here. Bend the tip of that down.
Okay, and there we have it all done. Not perfect, but. On the bright side, when you're way down here, it looks great. Here's the window all cleaned up. Looks so much better with that fresh glazing on it. And these windows here on the front of the house are all cleaned up now too. Looks nice.